Here on Sydney's North Shore, a team of business visionaries from China has established ATOS, a forex and CFD service for the forex market, the largest financial market in the world. And they've done it here rather than China. Mike Thomas, Senior Vice President, explains. ATOS commenced in Australia. It is an Australian company. It has expanded overseas and the larger operations are now overseas, but it is Australian based. It is very important as part of ATOS. Um, the regulatory environment gives confidence to investors around the world that they can um, invest and trade in a company and their money will be safe. The rigour imposed by Australia's world-leading compliance and regulation in the financial services industry is key to ATOS's credibility on the world stage. Another factor is a company culture that sees past successes as no cause for complacency and values continued hard work as critical to the future of the company. This philosophy is embodied in the company's choice of name, ATOS, the word ethos is a Greek word, means eagle. Our vision is like an eagle to uh, reach new heights and by fearless approach every new opportunities and challenges. Yeah, we've worked very hard to ensure that we have a superior trading platform. That it provides everything that our investor needs. In addition to that platform, we provide personal services, we've provided training, we've provided technical analysis. ATOS has used Australia as a springboard to the world, with three operations centres and over 20 branches. Apart from the company's head office in Sydney, there's Hong Kong housing finances settlement technology and London, European headquarters and the head office for sales and marketing. I have to look out that fairness is implemented in all the stages that ATOS interacts with the client. Since the moment it touches our website, from the onboarding process, from the deposit withdrawals, from the claims or complaints that he manages. And so we have to put fairness in all the, these stages of the process with the client. That's my, my role as a compliance, that what fairness has to be everywhere. At us during the past 12 years, we have uh, expanded our uh, business to over 100 countries and jurisdictions. The clients know that we're a global company, they have the strength of that, they have the strength of the regulations that we operate in, and they also are tailor-fitted with their local requirements. Uh, the platform is running uh, 24 hours, and we got, uh, you, can, you can trade from your smartphone, you can use your uh, laptop and desktop, and you can, by calling us to place an order, so that's the, all the services we can provide. Client satisfaction is achieved by actively combining the best of Chinese management and the Australian working culture. The ATOS philosophy also encompasses giving back, investing in the future by identifying and mentoring the next generation of forex traders. We have an agreement with top universities in Sydney and in Melbourne to provide training for students who are studying finance at those universities. And this is a great opportunity for these students to participate and learn about finance before they actually enter the workforce. We also have internship opportunities for, uh, for students who excel and that further allows them to develop their skills in their transition to the workforce. ATOS's commitment to giving back takes other forms as well. Actually I'm a soccer fan, yeah. So I uh, find the opportunity to buy invest in CNFC. Uh, so we got the front jersey uh, sponsorship with them for Asian Champions League. So we should uh, help ATOS expanding our business to Asia. It's a very, very good return. I think we're very similar company, companies in, in the way we, we look after our, 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 our customers. We also have the same ambition as it relates to our, our respective industries. You know, high performance sport or business are the same and I think the ability for us to put ATOS in front of millions of viewers across Asia is a real big opportunity for them and for us. As to the future, the company continues to think outside the box by harnessing the best business practices from both China and Australia and applying the rigour of Australian compliance regulations, it differentiates itself daily in Forex and CFD services. Many investors around the globe 
do not have those same controls. They look for it and they know that they have it in ATOS with the markets that they operate in. We can take that and export that to other markets around the world. And in China, um, that is something that's quite important to them. In fact, the markets are relying on the Australian experience to look at how they can improve their own markets. So that's something that we can contribute to China. Innovative thinkers and game changers as company teams or individuals are all playing a part in shaping the Australia-China future. And although global tensions continue to dog the headlines, the real story is there in the trade figures. Uh, for me personally, uh, every day we experience very uh, successful stories. And this is, like I mentioned, it's not just in one sector, but it costs many different sectors. You only have to look at the trade figures, you know, from, from uh, commodities, from uh, goods trade to services trade, and it grows year on year. So it just proves, it doesn't matter how many negative stories in the, in the newspaper, the fact is the bilateral relationship is growing very strong, especially in trade and investment. So I think this plays right into the hands of Australia's strengths. Uh, Australia is seen as an exporter of high quality products and services. We'll never win the volume game, and I don't think we'll ever win the price game. Uh, but what we can do is focus on the premium end of the market. What I want to see in the future is really the higher value add uh, products, tech services, financial services, asset management, education, the list goes on and on. And so when people ask me to sort of name a specific sector that's very exciting, I sort of say, well, China's buying everything. Uh, and so I think we have a lot of work to do uh, back in Australia to really take full advantage of the growth story that is China. Thank you.